What's happening, my 40-day turn uppers? I hope you're well and blessed. Listen, we're six days away. Six days away until you start an amazing process. Many of you have already began to transform in your mind, getting your mind together, your thoughts, and that's great. Some of you have kind of started on your own in your own way. I don't want you to do that. I want you to just get your mind right, get your surroundings right, get um, your support circle right. But let's wait until we start on Monday and Tuesday as we're detoxing before you change your diet. All right, I know you're excited, but let's do it the right way. I promise you'll get the results that you need to get. Assuming that you come into this process with the right mindset, and that's what I really want to um, kind of uh, take this time with you to be certain that a couple things are in order. So let's clean up a few things. Number one, be certain you've read your participant's manual, that you've viewed your orientational video. Every person watching this who's in the turn up should have viewed the orientational video and you should have read in it in its entirety the participant's manual. Okay? You should do those two things. If you have not, be certain that you do that because you'll be at a great disadvantage if you have not done that. Start off now getting your mind together and set on what you are about to accomplish, what you're about to do. Be positive in your thinking. You know, if you began to, to, you know, the mind works very similarly to if you've ever watched a pigeon, every time it walks, it walks in the direction of how its head is turned. If you ever watch like a, a pigeon, you know, it's like they're, their, their feet are connected to their eyes, and that's like a powerful thing. You know, if, if, if wherever they look, that's where they walk. You know, just, just watch a pigeon next time. You'll never see a pigeon doing this and walking in the opposite direction. Their vision dictates the direction of their walking, not vice versa. And and life changes about that. As, you, as you're as you on the precipice of change, my question to you is, what direction are you looking at? What are you looking at? What's your focus? If your focus is on success, if your focus is, is on change, transformation, wherever your focus is, that's the direction of where you're going to walk. But if you're focusing now, how am I going to be able to go two days without eating? How am I going to be able to pack all my meals? How am I going to be able to do? If your focus is on the negative things, if your focus becomes on the trap, right, and not the triumph, then you've already failed. It's just like the story of, of, of Jesus walking on the water and he saw Peter. And when Peter saw him, they thought it was a ghost. And they said, and Peter said, you know, master, if it's you, let me walk with you. And Jesus said, come. And he began to walk on the water. But then the text says that he began, but below, but, but behold, he saw the wind and waves. So he took his focus off of the triumph. That's the goal, walking on the water with Christ. And he began to focus on the trap. Wow, that's powerful. The trap was the wind, the way his circumstances See, see, in life, when you're trying to achieve, you can't focus on the traps. What I don't have, you know, you know, what could happen to me, how I may mess up, you know, what's going to be difficult. Don't worry about the traps. Focus on the triumph. Focus on the you that you're trying to get. Focus on the, the, the what you want your blood pressure to be living life, uh, you know, without medication, without pills without insulin, living life not, you know, not, not feeling, you know, uh, lethargic and, and guilty about the lifestyle that you have. Don't focus on the trap. Focus on the trial. Say that with me. I, you're not saying it. Say it with me. I will not focus on the traps. I will focus on my triumph. That's right. Don't focus on the traps but the triumph. That's what you want to do. 
and that's how you want your focus to be. There are three groups of you. There are those of you who are going to get amazing results. And I'm going to tell you now, I can, I can always see people who are giving it 100%. And I can always see people who are, you know, getting by and still getting results. And then they become complacent on getting results instead of being aggressive about maximizing the results they could have got. I know people who've lost who lost 15 pounds and could have easily lost 25 pounds. You know, there are three groups. Those of you who are going to get amazing results and the, 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 the people who are going to get the amazing results are the individuals who will be, watch this, 10% of your body weight or more will be gone in 38 days. Now just, just think about that. Bottom 20%. So if you're a 200-pound person, in, 20, in, in 38 days, you will be 180 pounds or less. It's going to be several of you. Just think about that. Think about if you're 300 pounds to know in, in 38 days, I'm going to be 270 pounds or less. If you're 150 pounds, you're going to be 135 pounds or less. Those of you who are going to give it your best, you're going to, be, you're going to lose 10 to 15% of your body weight. The second group are those who are going to lose less than that, 5 to 10%. All of y'all are sandbagging. I'll go ahead and tell you now. What I mean by sandbag, that means that you're not giving it your best. And then I'm going to have a group of people a week after detox, you're going to come to class and you will have lost a pound, two pounds. You've done nothing. All you've done is fooled yourself. I've done it so many times. That's how I'm able to see that. Don't blame your medication. Don't blame your thyroid. Don't blame, oh, this isn't working. It's nothing wrong with this process. I've worked with thousands of people. It's nothing wrong with your thyroid. It's nothing wrong with you. The only thing that's wrong with you is what you have not been willing to maximize, and that is the best you. Okay? So before Monday comes, instead of you trying to, you know, do this or that. Focus on me and on you being your very best. It's not going to be easy. You're going to be hungry. You're going to be challenged. You're going to have weeks when you come in to the sessions that I'm going to be teaching you, and you're not going to reach your goal. But what, you're just going to lay down and die? No, you're going to get up. True champions don't panic. We pivot. We pivot. We make the adjustments. That's how I'm going to coach you. Because I'm going to help you see what the problem is and say, hey, that's the problem. This is what you're doing wrong. But guess what? I can't fix your problem. But you can fix your problem. But I need you to have the mindset to say, you know what? Whatever this man tells me, I, I believe in his message. I believe in what he's trying to do. I believe in my leaders and all these great people that haven't charged me a dime to do this. And that's how you know we're not trying to get nothing from you because we, we haven't asked anything of you. You know that. You know this is real. You know that in times of people trying to scam you, trying to get you, trying to hit you, you know this is not the case. Do you know how much money we could have made? I mean, opportunities I had to, to, to sell this concept with folks. You know what I mean? People have come to me and said, you know, we could really do something. No, I do not want to take advantage of God's people. I'm not doing that. Because I know... You know, the blessing for me, right, and the blessing for my team is us being obedient to the word of God. God is, I'm already blessed and I will continue to be blessed. So nobody's out here trying to take advantage of you. And you should see that. You should know, hey, I'm in a good place. I'm in a place where people really care about me, know me, love me. And I need to take full advantage of this because because you're living in a time to where you don't see situations like this, where people are working on your behalf and not trying to get anything from you. So when I see people who are in the group and they like still complaining and they're not giving it their best, it's like, do you know how many other people would love to be in your shoes and to really do their best? So get your mind right. The sky is the limit. There are people who went through the first 40-day turn-up. They're still losing. They're still heading the right direction. 
chains are still being broken. They're still, you know, getting off medications and uh, not on insulin. Listen, this this is this change is real. And I know exactly how to coach, lead, and guide you to get there, but I cannot want it for you. Your leader can't want it for you. You got to want it for yourself. I'm going to be teaching you how to live your life differently, and all I need you to be is teachable. There are a lot of folk who are very, very smart and intelligent and have educations, but they're not teachable. I've dealt with people who are doctors and attorneys, and you can't tell them nothing. I'm not impressed with your degree because 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 um, it ain't there's no higher education I can get. I'm not impressed with how much you make. I'm not impressed with how much educate. All I care about is how teachable are you. And, and even if it's a person who can't read, you can be teachable. If you if if you only have your your GED, you could be teachable. Maybe you don't make that much. I don't care about what you make. I don't care about what your occupation is, but are you teachable? Are you able to come to these sessions, trust this process, trust this ministry, and say, you know what, whatever they tell me to do, I'm going to do it. That's what I need you to do. Get your mind right. Get your surroundings right. If there's something that you want to do this week, do it, because baby, next week, we on the grind. We're about to change. We're about to destroy some some shackles, some strongholds. We're going to break, destroy yokes. So whatever plan you got to do this week, get it out. Have your little drinks. Go ahead and get your little, you know, your little drink drink on. Because, baby, after this week, you ain't going to blame nothing on the alcohol. Take all your little cigarettes. Get your last little puffs out. Get all that stuff out the way. Because when Monday comes, we ain't playing. That, that should be our hashtag. <laughs> hashtag the turnuppers. We, hashtag we ain't playing. We ain't playing. We are not playing. And whatever your weight is on Monday morning, we're going to speak over your life. That that's the last time you get on a scale and you see that number. Your insulin. We're going to get it. It's days are numbered. Those blood pressure pills. It's days are numbered. And I'm speaking not only that in your transformation that God gives me the power to lead you and this group and our leaders and this team to the place of helping you. Not only is it my prayer that we get you to that point to where you destroy those strongholds, but that you don't go back to it, that it never comes back to you. When you see the children of Israel and you read in the word of God in the Exodus, when they started off in Egypt and they go to the promised land, when they left Egypt, they never went back to Egypt. And that's what we're de declaring over our lives, that when you become free of whatever your Egypt is and your Egypt is that state of mind of you being obese or eating too much or not knowing how to do this and being being on medications that you're trying to rid yourself of. My prayer is once you get out of Egypt, that you never go back, okay? For all of you that need to talk to your physicians, your doctors, do that. But remember this, your doctor works for you. A lot of times, you know, we kind of we kind of have this falsehood that, you know, oh, my, that it has to be convenient for my doctor. Your, your doctor is your employee because you are paying for your doctor. Your doctor, a lot of times doctors don't want to work with patients who are trying to get off of insulin and trying to live right. Not all of them, but some of them, because they know that, well, when you get off of insulin, you're not going to need me anymore. That's their job to work with you as you're, as you're on insulin and you live in a healthy way. You're not going to need the same levels of insulin. But you have to allow your doctor to help make those adjustments with you as you go. Talk to your doctor. Be certain your doctor knows. Same way with blood pressure. As your blood pressure lowers naturally, you're not going to need probably the same amount of blood pressure medication. Your doctor needs to work with you. Let's stay connected. Remember, don't focus on the, on the, on the trap, but the triumph. Once we leave Egypt, we're not going back. And the direction of how you walk is connected on the direction 
of what you're looking at. You be well and you be blessed. Let's turn it up and keep it up. Till next time. Peace.